Uh, the technology we've built, this so-called eye tracking technology, what happens is you put, place a sensor at the bottom of the screen and that sensor sends reflections into your eyes and then it picks up those reflections with a sensor that can measure with about a quarter of an inch or so where your eyes are looking. Uh, this technology has been around for a while and it's already used in a wide range of segments. People with severe disabilities are using it uh, as a tool to communicate. If you're paralyzed and can't speak, you can talk by just looking at words and uh, the computer that the eye tracker is attached to will talk for you. Uh, it is also in use today in a wide range of other scenarios. Uh, surgeons that have their hands occupied or people that work in sterile environments use eye tracking uh, as a way uh, to interact and get information out to their uh, computers. Today we see this going to consumers in a couple of steps. Uh, right behind me here is an uh, arcade game that's very relevant for computers, for consumers. Uh, anybody who wants to play an arcade game that's eye controlled uh, can try out this game, for example. Uh, that's a stepping point and we see it going from arcade gaming into a wide range uh, of other games in laptops, as consoles, etc. Now when that happens, it'll happen in a little bit different way than the game we see here. This game is fun, it's all about just aiming with your eyes and then shooting and it's instant and you can shoot faster than you could ever do with your computer mouse. But you can do other more subtle things with games as well that in some ways even more exciting. Imagine a game that always knows where you're looking. That game can adapt to everything you do and make the game so much more immersive. The technology is a combination of three things. You got this uh, illumination that's invisible sent towards the eyes. And you've got sensors that then pick off the reflections in the eyes. And then you've got extremely fast calculations that immediately calculate where your eyes are looking at the screen with this level of precision and also where your eyes are in space uh, with a this level of precision. Uh, the larger players that we're working with, uh, it's not a public information, unfortunately. It's under NDA. We'll see this technology ending up with consumers in a few phases. Uh, it's ideal to build as a small peripheral that you just plug onto your screen, similar as you would, uh, like a Kinect type of device or something like that. Uh, it also makes sense at a later point to integrate straight into your laptops. But it's a different technology than you would have in your typical webcams because it requires the extra element of actually illuminating the eyes to be able to know exactly where the eyes are looking. Tracker can do all kinds of things. It can measure where your eyes are in space. It can measure where you're looking at a screen. It can measure your pupil size, if you're blinking and that type of thing. And out of all those, the most useful thing is to know where the eyes are looking because then you can use the eyes to point. Uh, which makes sense in a wide range of different scenarios. Eye tracking can be relevant in gaming in very, very simple ways, like eye asteroids here where you just fire and shoot. We've kind of taken the classic arcade design out of like what a game would look like 30 years ago and we've combined it with the most modern technology you can imagine, technology that can measure where your eyes are looking. Uh, you combine the two and suddenly you throw away all the controls and instead you just uh, play the game, asteroids, similar to how you would 30 years ago, but you no longer use your hands, you just shoot with your eyes.